The 11th pick of the first round of the 2014 MLS Super Draft, the New England Revolution, select forward Patrick Mullins. Yeah. Or any related city player out. What a shot! That's in the back of the net. Hit a goal. Portillo with a rocket. It's Mullins top of the area. Left with a drive into the back of the net. First MLS goal for the rookie, and what a goal it was! What an absolutely spectacular strike! Welcome back, soccer fans. Patrick, tell me a little bit about the challenges that you've had. Uh, throughout your career and also um, some of the uh, sacrifices that you've had to make as well. Well, it's kind of funny. I think one of my biggest challenges is also something I'm the most proud of is uh, growing up in New Orleans and Louisiana. Being a, a soccer player here is uh, something that I love uh, that's a part of me, but it was also a big challenge because um, we live in an area of the country where sometimes if, if you have big dreams for soccer, uh, it's not the easiest to accomplish them here, but uh, it was something I, I really wanted at a young age and I wasn't going to let being from New Orleans stop me from doing that. Uh, and I think it's some, some of my best times and stories of training to make sure that I gave myself the best opportunity to do that was with Justin. A lot of times we'd go out, just the two of us, and we have little what we call ping sessions and we would go out work on every little technique possible, obviously. He was more into the midfield stuff. I was in the scoring the goals, but together we, we helped each other out and worked on all of our techniques to make sure that we did everything possible to, to give ourselves the best chance to, to reach where we wanted to go. And obviously we've been pretty successful doing that. And I always think it's funny, obviously we did that a lot growing up and yet we still did that last week yeah. too, you know, we still do it. And uh, I don't know how you feel about it, but I, it's always the gratification for me. It's uh, putting in the work and then seeing the results paying off of improving, which I think we saw a lot from training together and then with LA Fire as well. Justin, um, a lot of our players during the summer, they, they go to the Olympic development program and uh, they play for their state team, which that's a sacrifice we all know. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about your, uh, your ODP uh, uh, experience that you had when you were growing up. Well, yeah, I was uh, lucky enough to, on my team, we had a real, real good team, real group of, real good group of guys. And uh, I got to go on some great trips. I got to go to Barcelona, uh, London, and Buenos Aires. Um, just seeing the, the kind of experience, seeing how other countries, the way they take the game serious, the way they play, the way they're coached, the discipline, um, the things like that, you know, you bring back and, and you try to install that into your own game. Um, and overall, it's, it's just another another excuse to keep your foot on the ball. You know, right. it's a uh, Usually it's over the summer, sometimes it's in the spring if you uh, make that trip overseas. Um, but it's just being in, in a situation where you're playing with guys from all over the state and, and, and knowing that you know you can compete at that level against those other uh, great soccer players from other states, it's, uh, it's a real good thing. And Patrick, if, if there was one thing, I know there's many, but if there's one thing that you can tell young soccer players uh, from age 5 to 15 or 5 to 20, what would be one thing that you would say that has helped you get to where you are, where you're at now? I think a big thing is I talked before about finding that gratification. I think it's more finding a, a joy in the game. You know, Justin talks about some of these great glamorous trips that we were able to go on, and we're very fortunate. And uh, those were, you know, probably epic moments in our football and careers. But I think what was most important is finding the joyful moments in. The training I did with LA Fire on teams with guys that, you know, maybe weren't the best players. Um, and, you know, I think I found joys in those moments with my friends, with people I grew up with that also called New Orleans home that, you know, maybe they didn't share the same soccer goals that I did or Justin did growing up. But uh, I was able to, you know, get the joy out of playing with them and knowing that I was going in the right direction I wanted to, but also enjoying those experiences with them. Right. Well, we're here with Patrick Mullins, MLS player with New York City Football Club and professional player Justin Portillo with the Charleston Battery. When we'll come back, we'll see how much these guys really know each other since they played with each other for many years. We'll have a little trivia with them uh, when we come back.